Hey everybody, I am here with a video um, of an unboxing for you. Um, side note, don't mind my air conditioner. It's September here in Florida and it's hot, <laughs> so I need some air. But anyways, this company, Grabby, reached out to me um, and wanted me to do a, a like unboxing sort of review of their monthly subscription boxes. Um, I've seen this company before. I've seen their ads on like Instagram and stuff like that. And I knew that they had to do with like scrapbooking and journaling and stuff like that, but I've never ordered one for myself. But um, when I learned a little bit more about this company, I thought it was pretty amazing. So they started in January of 2021 and it was in response to like the depression and anxiety and the loneliness that came along with um, being locked down under COVID orders and stuff like that. Uh, so they started their little company. Um, now, fast forward to September of last year, they launched a um, like a fund where for every box that's bought, they take a dollar and they put it into the fund. And then they use that fund to donate to organizations that work, um, that like use art as a way to work and help people with mental health. So I thought that that was pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> Now this is the September box. Uh, I'm not quite sure if you could still buy this box if you like it, but I saw that they're doing their October box. And man, oh, I would love to have that October box. That is spectacular. I saw like a little preview of that and that, that box looks great. Anyways, um, if you go over to Grabby's website, uh, they told me that you can use a code that's Alexandra15 so the name Alexandra and the numbers 15 and you can get, um, I want to say it, yeah, it was 15% off. Duh. That's what the 15% is for. <laughs> they can get a uh, 15%. You can get 50% off the box, uh, with that code. Does that make sense? Okay. I'm glad somebody's, you know, with it today. <laughs> All right. So I did open this, but, um, I didn't like open it, open it. So, because they wanted me to do like a honest to God review. Just opening it to peek in, I was very impressed. I was very excited. Everyone loves cute packaging, so that's great. They all come in these cool boxes. I've seen some of these boxes that come with like, they'll come with a paint palettes or maybe pencils or something like that. So each month they just make a collection of like a kit for you. And it comes, it is like stuffed full of stuff, okay? So I got this bag that is branded for them. So that's really neat. And you open it up and let's see what's in it. I mean, it's just filled. So we have these, uh, it says European mirror frames. You can color these up and make these any color you want to. So this, this stuff is like good for journaling, scrapbooking, um, card making that's my strong suit so let's see what this is see I didn't open any of this stuff yet to really that's a cool little okay so there are little pieces of paper now I don't know if you guys have I follow quite a few girls on Instagram that have like um, art journaling look at that like a um, handmade type paper that's what it looks like um, that do art journaling and they do the coolest stuff with these little bits of paper and they like use the frame and then they put like a girl in there. It's really like, it's such a, I don't know, it's a good kit for sure. It's such a good idea, all the different things. I, I say that in my classes that I, not really classes, but um, that I sort of teach on Saturday nights is I love to find other ways to use, thing, use things than what they were intended for. So, this definitely will get your imagination going. Let's see if I can tie a bow these days. Okay, so we got that. And then this was beautiful. These are very delicate looking die cuts. There's all the ones that come in there. Let's see. I don't wanna take them all out because that would be hard to get back in, especially them being delicate. Here we go. Oh, look how cute that one is. And if you were easy enough, if you had, I wouldn't maybe like rub ink because it's so delicate, but if you had a little bit of spray, you can change the color on these. And then if you heated it up with your little heat tool, like quickly, so it doesn't curl, but it dries fast enough that it doesn't rip, um, 
that can make, you can make some cool things with that stuff. So I do love these because I have my own dies that I make embellishments and stuff with. See, this is what I was saying. I knew they'd be, they'd get stuff on each other. Okay. So again, there's the pieces that come in there. And then this, we're still in the same envelope. They gave you a little, you could start off with this card. I've seen people turn um, these cards into, they like staple papers in there and like turn them into books and like little journals, um, all kinds of like, the possibilities are endless. So you got these die cuts and you have these stickers or you can just use it as a regular card. Then there was this, see I didn't even open this either, this glassy and bag. Oh, all kinds of little die cuts and oh these are like stamps so these are great you can stamp right on these um, there some of these are in such a light color you can put your inks over them and you can make them look a little bit older all kinds of stuff okay oh these oh these are so cute these are the um, specimen ones you can take like a like if you had a little butterfly sticker or something, a littler one, and you can take it and put it in there and make it like a specimen. You could take the plastic wrapping from even this, right? And you can put it on the underside and make it look like, you know, it's under glass. So such cool ideas. So we got a few of those. Oh, cool, some bottles. See, and I could use these for even Halloween. You can make them little poison bottles or something. A different kind of little specimen card in all the different colors oh I love those look at the round bottles oh mama love those windows you could do the same thing same idea you can't well the other butterfly is in there but you can take a small thing and you can put it behind the window really cute and then there's flowers and hold on we got little sprigs right here, butterflies. It looks like bigger butterflies. Oh, some pretty leaves. I just wanna be able to get it back in. Oh, these are great. The little leaves and the flowers, butterflies. Very cool. Thank you so much for sending me this stuff. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be fun. I have little containers. These little like, uh, you can get them at like craft stores but they're like photo containers but I use them to put like ephemera and stuff in because I make my own too like I'll cut it out just like that I'll stamp on it and I make my own okay so we saw that one this we got like a glassine um, envelope so you can use this as it is um, you can put these in journals and have things kind of tuck in there. You can cut this this flap off and just have like an open tuck spot. You can completely open this and just die cut something else if you just want the glassine like paper. And you could use it that way. Let's see what's this. How do you get this off of here? I'm gonna have to cut it. Well, that's interesting. Is it a book? Oh, it is. Look at it, it's got all these. I wonder if you could take these out. Oh, it has a glued edge like this. So it looks like it's one of the tear out books. So you can take these out and use these as um, tucks. You can like decorate bits of paper, see, with them. I love fancy like mail art and stuff too. So to make like an envelope look fancy. Okay, so that, all that was just in this. So that's pretty cool. What else do we got? We have some 3D, uh, three-dimensional stickers. I love the gold, that's so fall. Like even though this is September's box, you can totally use these in like fall cards and stuff. This looked interesting. It says original box multi-material stick 
stickers. I wonder if these are like washi stickers. <gasps> Look at all them. Oh my gosh, how cute. Oh my gosh, and they're different shapes. And you know, you can take these stickers, you can take any sticker, and you can um, like stick it down. See, because sticker paper is flimsy, right? So you could take the sticker paper and stick it down to like a thick piece of cardstock, maybe like a 60 pound and up, you know? And then you can cut it out and you can make an embellishment versus having like just to stick a sticker down. You could make a die cut and like looking embellishment. It's got these beautiful papers. Oh, how cute. That would make a great like little mini journal or a mini miniature card. I love to do small cards. I love anything on a miniature scale. So all of those were in this little box. This right here, if you were to go on to somewhere like, you know, the stores that you can order and it delivers it to you in a day or two, you know, that online retailer, this might be like six or eight dollars by itself. Maybe a little more, so. Ugh. Oh, I'll get it, I'll get it. <laughs> okay, next, oh, what is that? That's one good thing about open this beforehand is you can have all this ready, but I totally understand about wanting a honest like first reaction. What are these? Like a bookmark? Ooh, those are pretty, that's some nice thick paper. Yep, that's the paper I'm talking about. Sticking the stickers down to. Oh, these are nice. Wow, you can use these for all kinds of things. You can make them into page tabs, bookmarks. Wow, they're beautiful. And they're so nice feeling. Very, like, that's the whole color palette is great. Love that. And that just says natural imprinting. the patterns on there okay the last thing in the box no that's not oh, okay is this it, they oh I love their cute little sticker I need to get some of that for my stuff it says stickers oh I gotta rip it open uh oh kind of want to save I like the envelope it's in you know <clears throat> storage is golden when you have a lot of craft supplies like I do. Oh my gosh, look at this. <gasps> wow. Okay. What do we have? We have this, oh, I love the color palette. These floral uh, die cuts. <clears throat> Man, I saw the, uh, <laughs> I saw their preview on Instagram of their Halloween one, and that is so cool. So you guys will definitely have to go check that one out. And if you really like it, you can use the code and get you 15% off. Oh, these are really pretty. Look at the shine. You can even use these if you're one of those girls that likes a blue and pink Christmas. These would look great for like blue and pink Christmas. Because these, little things right here they kind of remind me of pine cones that's why I say that right there so yes definitely those are great and these these just say 20 pieces flower and then we have this retro stickers it was in an interesting feeling and a baggie Wow, almost reminds me of like a pool floaty. How cute! Oh, I love purple. So these have the thinness of like a 
thicker than a computer paper, but not quite a thick cardstock. So they could still work as like a, like if you wanted to pop them up as an embellishment, they could still work. You could stamp on these. Oh my gosh, so cute. You can definitely cut that out <clears throat> closer to the line. I love tags. We make tags a lot in my craft class. I'm like a package nerd. Oh, I love all these. Oh my gosh. Oh, that with the little, um, the graph, uh, graph paper. Oh, it's like a little pink one in there. There's a few of them. So cute. You can put these like at the tippy tops of your, uh, journals and have like a little tiny, I don't know if you've seen the little mini paper clips. Um, you can find those other retailers make slash sell those, but those would be so cute clipped on. Those are great. I love these. 10 out of 10. Okay. And this, what is that? Garden door? <gasps> are these doors? No. Oh, that's a door. You could definitely use that piece. Okay. Look, that's, this opens. Oh my gosh. You could use that. Mm-hmm. Repurpose the packaging. These are washi stickers. So these, I've done this too. I'll stick these to like a white cardstock because it'll help those flowers, you know, show through. And then I was using those to make die cuts and pop them up. If you don't want to stick them straight down so those that's great i love the flowers i'm a sucker for a, like a good black and white floral i absolutely love this this is my jam 100 percent. love that oh my goodness i don't know what it says but i'm in love <laughs> oh oh haberdashery i can read that right All right herb nope that's not what that says something with herbs <laughs> I was thinking haberdashery so here's a door sticker to oh here's a couple more a mole grocer co I love though if they did that in like a Halloween thing like if you could find it like advertising like a fortune teller or something that'd be great these are really neat they're like realistic doors very very cool you could take an exacto knife too if you were careful and cut those doors right on open i love it i don't think nope i didn't miss any thank you so much i can't say thank you enough for considering me for this this great look travel collector 30 pieces the theme is a yellow but you get all these cute little stamps. Now that's another thing that I've done in my class is I've taught people how to make our own like stamps like this. I, I absolutely love doing stuff like that. What is that? Oh, oh, another nice tailing envelope. Oh, and it's stitched on there. <gasps> that's cool. I've always wanted to learn how to stitch on paper. I assume it's fairly easy, but I was all set up to try it and then my my cat ate my thread and it oh my gosh it was a terrible accident and I like was so scared to touch my sewing machine again how to use transfer stickers oh, okay oh and look it comes with some fabric so you take these these are transfer stickers and you take them and you would use um, you could use like a gift card or a popsicle stick or something and you just varnish them into like whatever you're pushing them onto, you know, like a piece of paper or a wood box or like this fabric. And then they'll transfer to the other side. They're very neat to work with too. Okay. Oh, these are cute. Oh my gosh, little wax labels. Oh, I need something to show you them. Hold on. Here, we'll do this. Look how cute. Oh, I even have stuff to, oh, I, this is my favorite. I would love to do these. 
like how people do the clear glue with the little flower. Oh, I love it. But I've not found one that like, like dries perfectly clear. I'm sure someone will create one, but. Oh, then there's this little piece of like, um, not vellum, transfer. And then there's this. Oh, that's great. So with these kinds of things, um, you'd want to put your adhesive behind the flowers. You know, you could see anything through here. That's cool. Wow, so pretty. I wonder if these would be cool to like decorate a box or something. Look at the flowers. They're just so dramatic. Oh, that's so me. So like, you know, moody. Twilight Saga, Victorian. Then we have a little ruler, very cute with the little flowers. And then a paper pad, I love the paper. 30 pieces, this looks six by six. Oh, I love it. Very, oh, it's kind of like screaming French country to me. Very cool looking like wallpaper. I would have loved this, maybe without this this print on it, just this paper alone. Even if it kind of looked like this at the top, like peeling wallpaper. Oh, very cool. And then the last thing, oh, I got a sticker, a grabby sticker. And they sent a cutting mat, you guys. So this is what I was saying, that if you took like the doors that were in here and you put it down and you took your X-Acto knife and you just kind of cut around the doors, you can make them pop open. But you need some kind of surface that won't, you know, you won't cut through with a knife. But anyways, gosh, this was great, Gravity. Thank you so much for um, considering me and asking me if I wanted to review your products. I give them 100% A+. You get so much stuff in here um, and it's curated so nicely. You know, it can all be used on other projects or together. So that is very cool when, so there's not a lot of thinking involved. You just, it just kind of goes together and you don't have to sort through a bunch of stuff and it's great. I. A side note, if you didn't hear me before, I absolutely love your Halloween box. So anyways, guys, go on over to Gravy's website. Use the code Alexandra15 to save yourself 15% on your order. Um, let them know. That lets them know that I sent you there. But anyways, I really appreciate the opportunity. Thank you so, so much. And I'll talk to you guys again. Bye.